gentlemen of the press, our consign has turned out as an agency of government so far in the country. It has received recommendation and accolades from within and across. And therefore, we have gone around, we have seen what NYSE is doing. And so far as we speak, we are still on appraisal to ensure that uh, all facilities that he claimed NYC are lacking, especially in terms of welfare and uh, hostels and uh, security in their camps. We are on our prison uh, tours across the country and we'll bring forth such a, uh, a result and report before Nigerians, for Nigerians to see, not for someone to sit in the comfort of his bedroom or hotel and begin to lay claims that are not genuine. So for this, we urge all Nigerians to support uh, the position of NYC to promote it, and parents should not allow themselves to be misguided or be, be misled by some unscrupulous elements or mischievous individuals who wants to plunge our nation into anarchy. Nigeria must remain one, Nigeria remains one, and we will do all we can in our position as Nigeria first citizens to ensure that the unity of this country is not in any way jeopardized by any individual. It remains an illusion on the part of the advocate for the scrapping of the NYC, which in our opinion was brought about by pecuniary gains rather than the relevance of the issue at hand. It is also sad that some supposed nationalists that ought to be the vanguard of celebrating and promoting the reforms in the NYC are agitating for the scheme scrapping in fulfillment of their selfless desire. Maybe they have refused to see anything good in the contribution of core members to national development. And perhaps they have been blinded by the pursuit of pecuniary gains at the expense of national interests. Nigeria first wishes to reiterate that the call for the scrapping of the NYSC is a misnomer and should be disregarded by consigned stakeholders, including parents and guardians as a novel introduction of the NYC in recent times have been impactful in our quest for socioeconomic growth and development. There are indeed tales of how the intervention of core members have saved the country from national embarrassment. A good example was the strike action by resident doctors in the country that left patients in public hospitals across the country stranded. However, the intervention of the NYSC doctors and nurses saved the situation in which could have been a national health crisis, God forbid. There are also numerous tales of the intervention of core members in the educational and agricultural sector, and many more that have elicited commendation from far and near, which is a testament of the strategic relevance of the NYSC now and in the future. We wish to state in unequivocal terms that the NYC must not be scrapped as it will amount to a great disservice to, the, to this country if such a brilliant initiative is, is sacrificed on the altar of selfish aggrandizement by some vested interests in the country. Our support for the operation and reforms in the NYC remains unflinching as worthy partners in progress. We believe that with the right incentives, the NYC will remain that critical agency that will address the challenges experienced by youths in the country to transform their hopes and aspirations into tangible realities.